It was important to Kristen Poole and I, as we organized this exhibition, that we invite um, some contemporary artists to create opportunities for interactivity for visitors. We invited the artist Tucker Nichols um, to create a couple of interactive installations, and we're showing those alongside a selection of paintings and works on paper that he's made, all of which in one way or the other address the idea of um, accumulation. And that idea of accumulation is also embedded in um, the interactive installations that he's designed for the exhibition. So right now we're looking at a piece called Starfield Simulator. And it's this kind of constellation on the wall, an imaginary night sky. And then we have an overhead projector. And Tucker has cut out lots of different types of transparencies that visitors are invited to um, pick up, rummage around in, and play with, layering on top of the projector and changing the image that they see on the wall, creating their own kind of version of the night sky. The second interactive installation that um, Tucker Nichols has created for free play is called Boomtown. He was inspired to, to make Boomtown after thinking about cityscapes, um, always the result of lots of different people over long periods of time, architects and builders and planning and zoning commissions and mayors and city councils, um, kind of cumulatively working together to to give shape to what becomes a city skyline. So in this case, in Boomtown, he's inviting visitors to spend time making their own cityscapes, intervening in this arrangement of objects and blocks that he's shared with us. When um, people interact with Boomtown and create their own cities, those cities are never permanent. They Sometimes they are destroyed by other visitors or sometimes there are little events that um, might create a, an earthquake that reshapes the cities. <laughs> Something comes through. <laughs> and destroying the cities. So visitors to Tucker Nichols Boomtown are invited to um, spend time rearranging the blocks and the objects inside it, that they give shape to their own vision of what the city should look like.